Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about what we can get from an applet presentation model. Now, uh, by default, we have uh, some vanilla presentation models like for form applet, it's pr just presentation model. For list applet, it's called list presentation model. If you look at vanilla scripts, we have pmodel.js and listpmodel.js files. Uh, that those are the uh, JS files that contain the code for the presentation model for the applets. So a presentation model can have a lot of properties that store your current applet state, current applets details, information, the data of the applets, the functions available for the applets and everything. So by default vanilla is uh, vanilla files have some uh, properties that are defined and the all the available properties are not actually documented properly um, you have to look through your pmodel.js or list pmodel.js files uh, to see all the available properties that you can get in this video i'm going to show you uh, the properties available for a form applet I have a dummy PM for this form applet and uh, I will pause in the console to see to inspect the presentation model. I have already uh, created a blog post of all the available function available uh, attributes or say uh, properties in uh, a PM. So these are all the available properties for a normal uh, list form applet. So I have, I have a breakpoint in my PM and I'm going back to my console and say this, it gives me my PM name. Now I'll say this dot get. I have this getter function and then this function I can write anything uh, in this and it will give me some value back. These are all, uh, for example, it gives me the applet ID. This gives me the applet ID. This is the actual HTML ID, so I can use it back in uh, jQuery like this ids uh, id selector is hash so if i give it it will give me the whole html of the applet this is one example i can get the applet title uh, get the list of controls of the app in the applet i'm going to do that So it gave me uh, all the controls in an object as a list. You can select uh, one particular object, sorry, one particular control in the list and you can explore more on the functions for the applet control. You can set, set some attributes also here. You can set the width of the control. So you can get everything in the JavaScript. So these are the available uh, properties. I have made some screenshots earlier. So I have this watch expressions. The get name will give you the applet name. Get ID will give you the ID, just the ID number var name is giving you the uh, the um, id of the applet html id full id is also giving you the html id get controls as i showed you it's a object that has the list of controls if you are on an active control it will give you the active control uh, by this property get active control get selection uh, if you are in a form applet and you are in like 
third record it will give you uh, get selection value as two if you're on a list it's the same it's it's the uh, it's the record index starting with zero this dot get record set will give you all the uh, record set array record set I have another screenshot for that so similarly you have all the properties here listed out you can get the bus comp object you can get the applet mode you can get a lot of properties um, that that we can use for identifying your your applet state or your applet data this is one uh, example so we have a list of controls all the controls you will be able to see even the buttons um, in the applet will be available in this object this is the active control object and this has all these available functions here you can use these functions to get or set the attributes this is the record set uh, this is for a list applet so you can see the field value and the field name actually these are the control names so the control name and control value uh, in the particular applet is available in this in record set you can get the raw record set it gives you everything um, in the applet all the controls and values in the applet you can get the current business component object and in this we have all these available functions uh, you can get the number of rows that uh, that the uh, applet has you can get uh, the business object name get uh, get id get parent bus comp if you are on a child bus comp so if it is in query mode we can get that state also so this is one example where i'm getting the current business object name you are currently in an applet and you don't know uh, whether it's it's the parent uh, bo or not so you can get the bo name also like this you can get the bus comp object you can get the current bus comp suspect you can get the id value that's the row id of the uh, business component so you can uh, write your expression in the console and you, if you just click on enter it will give you all the details so i am in uh, this here so we have all the getter functions as you as i showed you uh, these are all the available available ones i can get the query mode and everything uh, you can look up this and see whichever is useful in your pmrpr for list applet there are some more functions uh, available like uh, for list presentation model we have some more properties available in the applet now if you are writing a pm and say you are creating one more property or adding one more property you can get it from the uh, pm like this this dot get the custom property that you have added right that will give you that will give you this information and say for example if i'm setting this to test or something and let me reload it
you keep this screenshot uh, to remind me of all the attributes that I can get from the PM so it broke here and see I have declared a default value of test in the script and uh, that I am able to get it and for example uh, while some action is happening let's say on write record I am resetting it to some other value like uh, how we uh, use profile attributes in our uh, server scripts we can use your PM uh, properties similarly to set some uh, variables set some conditions and use them on condition so for uh, more information about the available get uh, properties you have to look through uh, p model sorry not p model.js it's actually in uh, applet.js script in sources you can find applet.js and list applet.js this is the applet.js and we have something called list applet.js these have the method arrays and the property arrays that uh, we can use in the pm get function so, thank you